Hello everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here and welcome back to the Mystery Files, the detective in other number three. Which of these doors shall we go through in order to see our friend Assistant Ayamura once again? Um, I didn't even get to read all of that. Are those dried meats? There's nothing but meat stored here. Maybe it's a meat locker. Oh, what? There's footprints there. It's some kind of meat. I think, uh, these are human bones, but why would these be here? I have a sneaking suspicion that that meat is human meat. Just, just an assumption. A huge assortment of meats and organs filled up a box. Hmm, do the organs look like ones of a size that would fit in a human being? Hmm, the door locked behind me. Uh, the search for Ayamura. How did it just lock itself? I mean, <laughs> uh, hopefully there wasn't anything down the previous door, which we, <laughs> uh, which we, um, did not miss out. Okay, 5th of July 2015. He, he hit me today. <laughs> I believe the heat is getting to him. My mum has been crying a lot lately. I have to do something about all of this. The three of us should be able to talk things out like a family. What an unsettling subject for such a little girl to be writing about so maturely. Diary entry. The room with... Th what the... What? Um... Okay. I'm currently trapped in a room and unless I figure out how to solve it, I'll be stuck here forever. The only useful thing I've found is a torn page from a diary written by a young Russian girl. According to the diary entry, it seems her family has been fighting lately and the author wants to try and find an opportunity to play medi mediator? Mediator, sorry. She likely would have sat down, sat her family down somewhere so the three of them can talk to each other and patch things up. However, in this room, all I see are three chairs that are not facing each other at all. Not facing each other, huh? So, I would say... That... There we go, you heard the sound of doors unlocking. I thought that would be the case, they need to be facing each other. So, the family would be facing one another. Well, these two wouldn't. These two would represent the parents, I believe, and this would represent the child. Or maybe this would represent the child and the mother, and then this would represent the father. Just because he's the one who is... Anyways. So there's that, which is excellent. Ooh, what's... We just traversed through a lawn here. Um... So was he... Did the other door contain any secrets? Oh, what? That... I don't think that blood splat was there before. It appears there's something on the other side that's preventing this door from opening. Ah, <laughs> Was that door always locked? Or is it just because we didn't go for... Oh, great. I'm locked in once again. We need to find a way to be able to do this. It's a picture book. It's titled... That. Or the, ti the Tale of the Cunning Witch. Let's see what it reads. A long, long time ago, there was a house in the forest, and there lived a cunning witch and her familiar, a black cat. Feels like the witch's house, really. <laughs> and then plot twist, the cat was actually the master. The witch would kidnap the children from a nearby village, kind of the tale of a witch's house, where the house would swallow up the children and sacrifice it for the deeds of the black cat. She would place them inside a giant cauldron and boil them into a stew. She would turn these children into magical potions. The villagers were angry with the witch and decided to kill her. The men of the village captured the witch and burned her alive. The witch's screams grew louder and louder. Her cat familiar could be seen watching in the distance. But what these foolish villagers didn't know was that the black cat was actually the witch and the one making the magical potions. <laughs> Definitely the tale of the witch's house. Uh, the next day the witch put every last villager into her cauldron and simmered them to a boil. Oh dear. 
the uh, <laughs> the familiar is actually the master. Is that a stone statue or a mouse? Is that a stone statue of a mouse? Sorry, I can feel a sense of dread from it. Oh dear, and that's a a uh, statue of a bird. This is a statue of a dog, cat, sheep. Thought so. So what's this? What's to this tale? Thirtieth of August, two thousand fifteen. It's been several days since Papa has not come home. Whenever I speak to Mama about it, she has a really sad look in her eyes. I wonder if this all has to do with that woman that Papa brought... Oh, dear. Ever since she and Papa left the house, Papa never came back. She has to be an evil witch and place a spell on Papa. Don't worry. I'll take care of that witch for you. So she calls this woman a Vidma, a witch. So, we must cleanse the cat of these atrocities. Hmm. If I push it off, its pedestal is likely to break. Um, yeah, let's push the cat statue off the pedestal. Hi. What was that scream? Why is there blood everywhere? You can hear the sound of doors unlocking. We did the correct thing. Somehow there's blood all over the pedestal. I don't really want to touch these anymore. Don't you worry, we don't need to. We just needed to kill the master. Is that the master or the apprentice? Who knows whether it is the master or the apprentice. Oh dear, we're back with these characters. And our timid friend is scoffing. Why the heck would the ladder connect to a fireplace of all things? Is everyone alright? Yeah, I'm okay. I hate this. I want to go home already. Look, oh, we understand that, but we need to actually get there. Our priority is to survive all of this. And then once we find the front door, then we can prioritize getting out of the mansion. It looks like this room has two doors. In, the ca in that case, it'd be blessed to split up our search. Are you sure? Because that makes each of us individually weaker. Sounds like a plan, we'll do it. Oh, I'm not, go not going anywhere without Natsu, so I'm staying with her. Also, that door down there has a lot of protective charms stuck to it. It gives me the creeps, so... It looks like Sam made the choice for all of us. Okay. Maybe she secretly is. The ghoul. The cannibalistic one. I hate to ask this of you, Ayamura, but could you go with... Her and search that room while Sam and I search this room. That's say okay with me. Are you fine with this decision? Uh, uh, well, I guess if it's already decided. Alrighty, let's begin the investigation. Uh, investigation? Uh, sorry, it's a, it's a force of habit. Right. A lot of strange habits have. Don't you know that I assist a detective? Ah, uh, well, that's just who I am. Anyway... Let's see, let's go see what's beyond that door down there. Sounds good. I like that idea too. It's a good old idea. There is a picture book on top of a shelf. Can we get to it? Maybe we cannot. How many? Nice, we've got 20 possible save files. So there's several endings to this game from what I've heard. I'm not sure if I stated that in the last episode. There's a picture book on top of a shelf. So... I wonder if it has a unique requirement or it's just something to do with the last remaining choices of the game. It's a decorative plant made out of fabrics. Shelves appear empty. The floor has appeared to be broken apart. Hmm. Oh, oh, looks like the floor here is about to give way. I agree. We should watch where we step, Ayamura. And with that, let's examine all we can. Um, so what happens if we go here? Um, <laughs> I was thinking that we would, <laughs> we would just fall down to the floor. There's some human bones here. What are they doing in a place like this? I don't know. Maybe somebody just fancied a snack vessel. And he grew bored, so bored that he didn't get his food and decided to turn into a skeleton. Not by choice. There's blood there. 
Oh, there's more here. More of that department. Hmm. Ah, I can see a piece of paper on top of a bookshelf. Uh, looks like I'm not quite tall enough to reach it. How about you? Uh, neither of us. No, I'm not tall enough to reach either. I see. Well, at least I found out you're about the same height as me. Uh, hey, I'm a couple of inches taller than you. If Mr. Narber was here, he could reach it with ease. Well, it's a shame he's not here. Hmm, I guess there's nothing worthwhile in this room after all. Seems that way. Also, I don't see any other door here, so it looks like we saw all there is to it here. It looks like we're on the same page. We should go back and regroup with the others. Yeah, that's a good idea. Hmm, what's that sound? Watch out, Ayamura! Ow, what, what happened? Oh, okay, I see the dagger there. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. Thanks. I can only imagine what would have happened if this pocket knife had stabbed you. It could have severely injured you. Seriously, what's going on with this mansion? It's best if we be even more careful moving forward. I didn't even see what went on. All I saw was there's a knife stuck in the bookshelf. <laughs> You're right. Let's be extra cautious. Uh, it's a pocket knife that was launched at me. Um... Yeah, why not? I do think, though, there might be some sort of betrayal if we hold the pocket knife. Or, we manage to protect ourselves and therefore we go by good end. <laughs> I doubt it. That piece of paper is beyond our reach. If Mr. Inaba were here, he could get it for us. So, it would be in our best interest to save in a different slot. Have I had enough of this room? Yes, we've had enough. Report your findings to the others. Who I think have disappeared. Nope, they're there. Excellent. Uh, there we go. We found this knife. Are uh, you guys done searching? Good work, so what did you find? Nothing of any notes. How about you two? Find anything here? The same here. The only thing Natsu and I notice is that the door over there appears to be locked. Huh? It's locked? Yeah. We searched this room high and low. We couldn't find anything that looks remotely like a key. Yeah, I don't remember seeing anything that looks like a key in the other room either. Oh no. Does this mean we've reached a dead end? Oh dear. What are we going to do? So now what? Do we try going back? But the hallway down there has a giant hole separating us from the other end. What else could he... What? <laughs> Where else could we even go aside from up here? So we really are going to be trapped in here forever. Come on, don't cry, okay? Things will work out in the end, Sam. Not to mention our rescue doesn't appear to be coming for us either. Don't say that. Mr. Inaba will come and help us for sure. He never breaks his word. Ever. Ayamura, you put a lot of trust into this Mr. Inaba, don't you? He must be a pretty reliable guy. Oh, yeah, of course I do. It's because I've always been, <laughs> been be able to count on Mr. Inaba, just like back then. Just like back when. Mr. Inaba? Yes, Nina. Mummy and Daddy will be out on a business trip. And we won't be home for a while. So we arranged to have Mr. Inaba look after you this weekend. He lives here in this neighborhood. Do you mind doing this for us, Nina? Yeah, I don't mind. I understand. Hope you both have a good trip. Sorry, Nina. We're always leaving you off on your, on your own. It's okay. I'm a big girl now. I can take care of myself. Yes, you know, you're such a big girl now. Mommy is very proud of you. <laughs> in reality, I don't want to scream and cry. I don't want to be alone any longer. I wanted Mommy, Daddy, and I to stay together forever. But I had to be a good girl for Mommy and Daddy's sake. Look, Mommy, I cleaned up the house all on my own. Look, Daddy, I cooked food for everyone all on my own. I'm lonely. I'm really, really lonely. Okay, I'll be going over to Mr. Inaba's house now. Okay, be safe, dear. Hmm. You don't want to go, do you? Is this Mr. Inaba's house? Inaba Detective Burio. <laughs> Burio. Yeah? It's nice to meet you. 
My name is Nina Ayamura. Thank you for looking after me for the next two days. Mura? Hey, Ayamura! Are you dazing off? Are you okay, Ayamura? You kind of spaced out for a moment there. Uh, did I? Sorry. Please don't mind me. If you say so. I guess I really did space out while remembering the past. I need to meet up with Mr. Anaba soon. Where could I be? Oh, it's extremely dusty in here. Ayamura, where could you be? Let's search in the storage room for Ayamura, just in case if she's trapped. Because remember, we're in the perspective of Mr. Inaba now. He could be anywhere. Oh. Whoa. Hi. Huh? Is that you? Oh, hello, Katie. It's been a while. Katie? Yeah. Katie is a ghost girl who made an appearance in the first game. She finally managed to cross over to heaven with her mother after the events of her first game. Katie gets along well with Nina Ayamura and refers to her as her big sister. However, she isn't warmed up to Sogu in Arba and, he, and yet and still calls him Mr. Weirdo. Why are you here? I could ask you the same thing. What are you doing here? I mean, here on this earth. I thought you passed on with your mother. Yeah, I did. Then might explain why I'm seeing you here. Oh, that! I'm here for my part-time job. Your... what? It's a job. I do it part-time. My thing is that I go to haunted sites and scare the pants off humans. There's so much wrong with that statement that I don't know where to start. Moving on. I guess if you're here, then that means this mansion is considered a haunted site. Yep. So, what's the story behind it? Well, as you can see, it's haunted. Yeah, I get that, but how is it haunted? Give us the context of this, of this scenario, of the situation. Haunted? How? I'm here. Katie, you're going to have to do a bit better than that. I know you have a mind of a child, but you have to do something about your vocabulary. Not that I have much to say about it. Then please unhaunt it immediately. Oh yeah, why don't you unhaunt it? Sure, I'll get right on that. Good, Mr. Weirdo should do Mr. Weirdo stuff, and Katie will do Katie stuff. She definitely does have a mind of a child. Whatever, this is silly enough as it is. Do what you want. I will. Oh yeah, where's Big Sister? Is she not with you? No, she isn't. I came here to come get her, but I can't seem to find her or get in touch with her. <gasps> then she could be in big trouble. I can't be certain she isn't. Which is why I need you to stop it with the ghost tricks and the human depantonizing. <laughs> Depanti. Depancing? So I can find Aimura quickly. Uh, okay, but I haven't played any tricks on anyone since I got here. What? Well, technically, you're the only person I managed to spook, but I haven't seen anyone before that. Then how do you explain all of the supernatural phenomenon that I've experienced up until now? Probably other spirits I don't know about here. Uh, Mr. Weirdo, your eye is twitching. Silence. What my eye does involuntarily is none of your concern. You're really useless without your big sister by your side, huh? I, uh, I don't like doing this, but I'll cooperate with you. Anything to save my big sister. Are you saying you're going to come with me? Yep. After all, Mr. Weird is no good with spooky stuff like ghosts. Plus, you can't speak with them. Wait, you can speak with spirits? Yeah, duh, don't you forget I'm a ghost too? It's just temporarily left my mind. It looks like you need more than you realise. Count me in. Together we'll rescue Big Sister. Right. Because we need Katie for that. Although the spirit part does intrigue me. Katie now has given Detective Inaba the ability to see and talk to the spirits roaming around the mansion. She, was, she will act as an intermediary between Detective, Iamor, yeah, Detective Inaba and the spirits. Thus allowing them to converse so long as Katie is present in... The party. All right, Mister Weirdo. As your first task, test I go speak with the spirit in this very room. If I must. Katie has joined Sogo Ilanaba. Where is this 
shots are in the the right corner of the screen. So you were hiding inside of a box, just like you did way back when I first met you. Is there any particular reason for that? No particular reason. If I see a box, I naturally want to hide inside of it. You really do have a mind of a child. <laughs> but if I had to give a reason, I guess it's just that I really scared the pants off of you the first time I was hiding inside of the box. So I thought it'd be a great way to scare humans from my job. How very thoughtful of you. Yes, 10th of September 2015. My mother growled at me after she learned I have vanquished the evil witch. Now she only looks at me with such a frightened stare in her eyes. Even though I released Papa from the witch's spell, he still isn't coming home. Why? Since I can't go outside any longer, it's getting pretty boring every day. Obtained a diary entry 10th of September 2015. I wonder also if the endings have to do with the diary entries. There doesn't appear to be anything useful inside the crates, because we, you, we may need to come up with a case at some point. The mirror somehow gives you a sense of forbid, forbidding. For, forbidding. That. He waits for me. I have to hurry. Where to go? Where to go? Hey, are you looking for something? Oh, yeah, I am looking for something. It was very important to me. I lost it. Something important? Yeah, when I was running for my life from that ghastly kid with a knife. It must have slipped off my finger and fell somewhere. Ghastly kid with a knife? It must have been the silver-haired girl who was chasing me earlier. It must be someone before, but where? My little brother is waiting for me upstairs. If I could only find where my ring went, I can finally move on with no regrets. Hmm. What should we do, Mr. Weirdo? Should we help him find his ring? Well, if we find it in the course of our investigation, we'll hand it over to him. Thank you for your assistance. I've been here for a very long time. Right. Helping him now. Thank you for helping me find my ring. If I could help narrow it down, since it fell off of my finger, it's probably not stashed away in a drawer. What else? Uh, maybe when it fell off, it might have rolled into a dark crevice somewhere. That's all I could think of. I hope it helps. Well, aren't you delightful? Yeah, they just suddenly did that, didn't it now? Why would that be a thing? Do you have something to do with it, Spirit? Is it because we went more than three tiles away from you that you have to do that? There's a door behind there. There's a door behind all of those crates. And it's not great that that thing's blocked off by those crates. Hmm. There's another Spirit here. Damn. I died here because I wasn't able to escape this room. Man, that sucks. Well, so this guy must be even stupider than you if you solved it and he couldn't. What do you mean by even stupider? There are other traps planted throughout this mansion. So unless you want to end up like me, watch yourself. Thanks. Would you like to... Um, I think I've already proceeded through that story. Nope, not required, not necessary. So we need to find a ring of sorts. The floor has fallen through. I can't get to the other side from here. What do you mean by other side? There's a toilet! No water's coming out of a faucet. Luo? You can feel an ominous presence in the air. Um, what the? The door isn't locked, yet it refuses to open. Finally opens. Well, hi. Um, <laughs> the jump scare was something I did not expect, but somehow it didn't frighten me. Um, eyes on the toilet. Whoa. No water coming out of the faucet. <laughs> somehow I was just only slightly startled by the jump scare. The door's locked. 
Not only that, the lock itself is broken. There's no way that door is opening. I guess we have no choice but to give up on investigating the side of that room, then. <laughs> Stand aside, Mr. Weirdo. I will happily investigate the room for you. You? Investigate? Are you sure you can get inside there? How many times do I have to tell you this? I am a ghost. I don't have to obey the rules. Doors don't mean anything to me. What about f floors and walls? Don't they mean anything to you either? It's slightly more complicated than that. Think of it this way. Under normal circumstances, the door would open for anyone, so naturally I can pass through it. But normally no one can open a wall or the floor, so to speak. That means those kind of objects are much harder and difficult for me to pass through. So that's how it works. That's exactly how it works. Then could you investigate inside that room for me? And before you do, please be careful, Katie. You got it, and don't worry about me. Let's say help about Katie too passing through doors. There are specific rooms in this mansion where Detective Inaba is unable to enter. Therefore, these rooms must be investigated and said by Katie. However, it takes up a lot of strength for Katie to pass through doors, so she is only able to examine three times before her strength completely depletes, and she has to return to Detective Inaba. Also, re-examining objects counts towards her strength depletion. Um, additionally, Katie can store an item she finds interesting by putting it inside that stuffed bunny she carries around with her. Since there isn't enough room inside the stuffed bunny, Katie is only able to carry back one item to Detective Inaba. Once you have exhausted Katie's strength by examining inside the room three times, she will not have enough strength to return to the same room, so make your investigation count. Alrighty, I'll be back. Good luck. Well, it's really dusty. I wonder if I can find anything in here. So, only examine things once. Oh, I found a rain underneath this bed. Alright, I think I could bring this back with me. Okay, Mr. Bunny, open wide and say, ah. Oh, that should do it. So, this. Nope, nothing useful here. What about that chair? Nope, nothing useful there. Whew, I'm pooped. I should get back to Mr. Weirdo now. Okay. I'm back from investigating Mr. Weirdo. Did you discover anything? I did. Let's see here. Yep, here. A rain. Hold on. Did your rabbit backpack just vomit up this rain? Mm, well, yeah. What did you expect? Mr. Bunny swallowed it up and was carrying it inside his belly. So how else was I going to get this rain out? So go. Don't even try to think about it. It will only prove futile. <laughs> Mr. Weirdo, you seriously need to open your mind more to the way the world works? Forget it. I'm going to solely focus on the fact that we got the ring. Do you think that the rings the spirit was talking about back in the room we were, we were met? Where we met, so hmm, suppose we should deliver it to him. That's a good idea. Uh, deliver a ring to the spirit, if it's even possible. I should have saved in a different slot, but oh well. Uh, we can always go back at another time. Well, did you find my ring? We sure did, Buster. It's... <laughs> Somehow, I don't trust Katie there. Uh, I really don't trust her. I am more a smartphone, Zippo lighter, ring. A ring that Katie picks up inside a dusty room in the basement. Hey, is this the ring you were looking for? Hmm? Oh, oh, that's it! That's it! You found my ring and brought it back to me! Thanks, mister. Hmm, actually... Hey! Mr. Wade, I didn't find it, I did. Yeah, I can't take the credit when she's one who found it. Is that right? Well, then thank you, little girl. No problem, Mr. Weirdo here was lucky I found it. With this, I can finally go back upstairs to get my little brother and get out of here. Again, thank you so much for what you've done. Hmm. It looks like there's something propped up here. It's a long wooden board. Looks pretty sturdy too. I bet it can carry your weight if you were to walk on it, Mr. Weirdo. 
Good chance that this could good chance that this could be useful somewhere, so I'll bring it with me. Large wood sorry, large plank of wood. Oh dearie me. I'm worried what this could spell for us. What should we do? There's spirits there. Wisps. What's that noise? It sounds like something unlocked. You're right, the door's unlocked now. Why would it unlock all of a sudden? Who knows? But I think we should get out of here quickly. Sam's right. Let's get moving, guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. That is a necessity. Oh, dearie me. Well, hi. There's some stairs here. And I see a door over there. Um, well, if we're on the first floor, then we really have no reason to go upstairs, right? Mm, sometimes the most direct path is not always the wisest. Nevertheless, I think it might be worthwhile to at least take a quick look up around upstairs. <laughs> no, I don't think we need to do that. Let's get out of this place and fast. I have to agree with Sam here on this. What about you, Iamora? What do you think we should do? Me? Uh, I think we should... Let's explore more upstairs. I think we should explore upstairs. It's always best to be thorough with an investigation. <laughs> Maybe you're right. After all, we still haven't found Tam Takumi, Yuta, and her friend yet. Can we please check to see if there's actually a way out or not first? I like the sound of it. We could split up again like we did last time. Sam, you go and confirm there's a way out. While I am more, uh, her and I look upstairs to try and find our friends. Why are you not going to come with me, Nasri? I'm not leaving this place without them. Then I'll go upstairs too. I want to stay by her side, Natsu. I heard you loud and clear. You don't have to squeeze me to death to prove your point, Sam. It looks like we're all going upstairs together then. <laughs> Seems so, all right. Let's go. Yeah, let's get going. I just thought of something. Well, damn it, I thought that was... <laughs> I thought they were just going to come crashing down. The telephone line seems to be cut. Seems to have cut. Can we please get out of here? Um... What do you think, Captain? Should we get out of here or shall we investigate everything first? Everything first. Let's go up the stairs to the second floor. Ah, that's where we originally were. Ah, oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. I think... Ooh. Ouch! Are you alright, Ayamura? Yeah, I'm okay. It's just that one of the stair boards gave way beneath me. Can you still walk? Of course I can. This is not... Ow, ow! Not in that condition. Here, use my shoulder. I'm sorry about all of this. Thanks, everyone. So, this is the second floor. Hi. Is that a family portrait? Looks like it. Maybe it's the family who lived here. I see a little girl, and I think those two are her parents. I wonder what happened here. Hmm. Blah. Well, hi. I hope you're doing well, spirit. Maybe we could use this wooden board somewhere. Maybe. Let's see where we could use it at. Large plank of wood. Looks like our, looks like our friend's in trouble, and I think Iamura might bite to the dust because of her lake. Uh, why were you not more careful when climbing up the stairs? Well, at least that wasn't that one. Uh, from time to time, I see time to time I see a little girl coming here. I think she's the one building these traps. It's nice to know of that. Um, I don't think the wooden board is long enough. Oh, this over here could be the case. Um, thought so. We should be able to cross the hole with this. We sure do now. We hope so. What the? Thank for that. Looks like somebody was in here. Shelf appears to be empty. We was already there. We'll save nonetheless. Let's get out and go up. <coughs> so dusty. Ghosts are affected by dust. Unlike Mr. Weirdo, Katie here is very sensitive and delicate. Sure, whatever you say. Yeah. Um, ghosts are sensitive to dust somehow. 
Come on, how am I supposed to get to the punchline if you don't take the bait? Yeah, because we're not foolish like you. You may think we're foolish. Well, what the hell can you say about that? No oh, we. What's wrong? Uh, I don't think I can get into that room. Uh, is it because of a protective charms on the door? <laughs> Looks like I can't remove them. Will you be okay going inside on your own? Are you my mother now? No, but I can be your substitute big sister. I am or wasn't my mother either, you know. Anyway, I'll wait for you here. I'm a good girl waiting. Indeed, I don't intend to be have you wait long. So I'll go check inside real quick. Be careful, Mr. Will you stop calling me Mr. Weirdo? Okay, any doors in the mansion that are warded with protective charms will prevent Katie from entering. Even if Detective Inaba were to open the door for her, Katie will still be unable to pass through. If this happens, Detective Inaba must enter the room on his own and Katie will wait outside. When you are finished with the investigation, please exit the room and speak with Katie to have her rejoin Detective Inaba. Right, so if there were to be any spirits in here, we can't talk with them. The floorboards in this room are really old. No matter where I step, it creaks. Oh, great. And the lighter. And it looks like my lighter is running out of fluid. I should hurry and get this over with. Oh, dear. Explore the room. Okay. I thought because we were heavier, the floor might break. Okay. We should be able to get this up here. Oh, wait. Here. There's something up there. Here we go. Looks like another diary entry. Ah, it's a good thing that Ayamura didn't get it, man. 1st of October 2015. I was shocked when I suddenly saw a teenager who didn't look that much older than me entering my bedroom from the window. They took one look at me and cried out, Monster! It was pretty rude to hear them call me that. But after seeing that I am not some kind of monster, they stayed and talked to me for a while. It's been a while since I talked to anyone aside from my family, so it was a lot of fun. So this girl has a mother and father who's always away. And Ayamura also has a mother and father that was away. So the similarities are very similar. Or, at the same time, they could be the same person. Okay, let's continue with the story. I told them that coming to my window could one day land us both in trouble. So I let them know about the secret passage down the basement. That way we could see each other without alarming anyone. I also told them the password to unlock the trap door. Only my papa and my mama and myself know this password. And now my new teenage friend knows it too. They tell me they will come back to see me. I can't wait to have fun hanging out with them again. What was that? So it resides in here. Even though I can't see much in this room, I can feel that there's someone or something else in here with me. Did I hear something falling over there? You sure did. I think that something just went toward the sound. I can hear it getting closer to me. Just my luck. My lighter would die right now. I can't see very far without it. So I need to be careful and make my way towards the exit without making a sound. Yes, I do thank you very much. Okay, so no creaks. No creaks. There we go. We did it. God damn it. First a strange kid with a knife chases me and now this... It just isn't my day. Hello, Katie. Whew. I didn't fully realise how dark this room was until after you left me. Are you already done looking in there? Yeah, I am. On top of that, my lighter went out mid-investigation, so I had to stop. This will make any future investigations more troublesome. Oh, Mr. Weirdo is slacking on the job. Mr. Weirdo is slacking on the job. What, are you going to tell me you suddenly have a special power that turns you into a light source for me? <laughs> That's why you should leave everything to me while I was waiting for you. I looked around and happened to find some lighter fluid. You did? That's perfect. Now we can continue searching for Big Sister. 
and I don't have to worry about a certain scaredy cat peeing on himself in fear. Silence, give me that. Give me that lighter fluid. Um, I have no desire to enter that room again. <laughs> Are you ready to keep searching for Big Sister? Absolutely. Talk of Katie. By the way, Mr. Weirdo, why did you get scared so much? I'm not scared, it's just that I can't stand what I can't be proven by science, that's all. Oh, then are you saying that you can't stand me? No, nobody can stand you. And not in like, we can't stand you because you're scary, but we can't stand you because you're just that sort of personality that we can't stand. Hmm. No, I'm not claiming that I can't stand you. I'm cool with that. Besides, I like Big Sister way more than Mr. Weirdo anyways. You don't have to keep calling me Mr. Weirdo. Um, I wonder where Big Sister is. Hard to say. Yeah, what kind of response is that? Aren't you worried sick about Big Sister like I am? I am always my assistant. She isn't the type to die so easily. So all we could do is investigate all we can for her sake. As I said before. That's, what, that's a stupid answer. I care about Big Sister way more than you, Mr. Weirdo. You know nothing about her. That's why I don't like you. And yet you're with me. Well, you can't say that. No fair, no fair. I'm only with you so I can play more with Big Sister. So I'm just a means to an end. Of course. Okay, I think we're out of options when it comes to that. Regroup with Katie. Let's hurry and rescue Big Sister. That sounds like a great idea. A very, very fun, fantastic idea filled with magical adventures and stuff like that. Let's go this way then. Hi. Hope you're doing... We couldn't go into this room last time. I swear this room was locked. Oh, wait, because um, the scared child wants to just help us leave. So let's investigate it. Whoa. Hi. I hope you're doing well. She suddenly vanished. What the heck was that? Um, I think that exposing ourselves to that kind of element might proceed into a bad ending of sorts, maybe? The tower's covered in mold. Yeah, because we keep encountering these sort of ghosts. Hmm. Let's talk with this spirit. You want to go through here? May we? No way, I don't want to. This little... Why are you being so mean to us? You'll never cross over to heaven if you continue to act like that. Shut up, shrimp. I need to conserve my strength or else I'm going to starve to death. You're already dead. <laughs> but you're already dead. <laughs> For timing... <laughs> You shut up, do you know it all? Uh, both of you are so annoying with your constant yammering. So, until someone gracious enough brings me my favourite food, no one is going to get past me. What is your favourite food? What a greedy bully. <laughs> oh well, guess we'll have to try appeasing him. Uh, the hungry spirit wants something. Do you want something? <laughs> <laughs> but you're already dead. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> uh, uh, resist. Resist the hand. Oh, what was that? I felt someone grabbed my arm suddenly and... Hey, Katie. Is this your doing? It wasn't me. I've been standing right here the entire time. Yeah, I guess you were. It seems that reaching out and grabbing these people's arms to support prize them seems to be pretty popular nowadays then i hope the fad passes soon i hope the fad passes soon as well 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 look at that there's something on the floor there i thought that was like a lighter fluid or something like that hmm the cracked window i just realized that a source of food was much closer than i anticipated at least this should keep me satisfied for a while Oh, but I must be careful to not eat too much of it. It is my arm after <laughs> Why? Oh dear, there is definitely cannibalism in this game. Uh, eating one's own arm. With one's own arm. <laughs> Dearie me. So it should be quite close by. 
Yeah, so there should be an arm in it if it's covered in blood because something must have entered into there in order for blood to first appear in there in the first place. And it's not too far, so it should be close by. Um, possibly, I don't know. Hmm. There's... There's no indicators. But the game also says that we no longer have sparkles to indicate places of great importance. So, it is as the game says, we need to investigate everything like in pretty much every other RPG Maker Horror game where investigating every single tile, every single suspicious looking tile, appears to be important. You unlocked the door from this side. Excellent! Well, isn't this just great? We found the way out of here! Isn't that spectacular? This door seems to be all boarded up. Katie, is it possible for you to go inside? Yeah, just leave it to me. Seriously, Mr. Weirdo, you'd be nothing without me. Uh, at least let me say first. Is this a guest room? I'm guessing it is the guest room. That's important. Ah, oh, there's a diary entry here. Take the diary entry. All right, maybe. Maybe I should take it back with me. All right, Mr. Bunny, time to eat. Gulp. Um, that ought to do it. So, I would say that in every single room that only KD can look through, there's only one important item. Or maybe one of them, along the lines, would have two. There's some green and white stuff inside the contents of this box. Is, it, is this all mold? We don't want mold. So, where else could be important? Um, the crevice. Nope. We can't investigate the crevice. Nothing in there. Hmm. Okay, one is pooped. I'm back, Mr. Weirdo. Found anything? I sure did. Now, where did I put it? You put it inside your bunny. This is it. A diary entry. Hmm, another one. 14th of December, 2015. Today, a guest finally arrived for the first time in a long while. But when they saw me, they screamed and tried to run away. How rude of them. After I had gone through such trouble to welcome them to my home, this is how they treat me? Unforgivable. I sliced open their throat, and that made them more quiet. But then they wouldn't drink the glass of water I gave them. People these days have no manners. There's no logical thinking behind this, because this is definitely the mind of a child. Nevertheless, they looked most delicious. They travelled all this way, so I might as well try a taste. So this little girl is trying to eat anyone who visits this mansion. Yeah, definitely cannibalistic, if I'm going to say so myself. Definitely a cannibalistic girl. I need to hurry and find Ayamura. Well, we've definitely visited these parts. Ooh, is this meat? I thought this mansion was abandoned, so what is it doing just sitting out here? Could we just take it with us? But then, um, the door is locked. And I don't think the prompt to let Katie investigate there is going to be at all worthwhile. Time has passed, though. So maybe some stuff that was originally fresh, it's not so fresh anymore. Um, uh, we've... Oh, we didn't manage to read this the first time around because we ran away. 8th of February 2015, it snowed a lot, so I went outside with my family today. My hands were freezing because I forgot my gloves at home, but I was okay with it since Papa and Mama held my hands. Getting home... Well, getting back home helped me warm up all night and toasty. I hope the three of us go out again soon. This is a strange place to find a diary entry. And it was in the past as well, but we, as I said earlier, when we first appeared here, that ghost was still chasing us, so there is that. But now that we have Katie with us, is it possible to try and investigate some of the things that were back in the game? Hmm... Moldy carpet, so nothing there. Hmm, anything else? Meat. 
So I'm going to meet... We've always been here. Oh, this piece of meat. It's mine. So you're just dying... So you're just dry now here. Yeah, apparently my meat isn't tasty enough to spy being fresh from my body, so this might be her way to make it edible. Wait, are you saying these pieces of meat are human flesh? That's right. I think we should get going to try and find Big Sister, Mr. Weirdo. I concur. I hope you guys don't end up like me. Uh, so... Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, let's read that again. Uh, files. So, 23rd of October. Every day is so fun and enjoyable ever since I met that teenager. Whenever I think about them, I can't even close my eyes to go to sleep. They help me... They help give me the strength, strength to leave my house, even if it's in secret. Whenever my teenage friend isn't with me, everything's so scary and I feel trapped inside this big mansion. And I hope they hurry to come see me again. Oh dear, this is a story and a half. Yeah, we now discovered what kind of meter is in here. Didn't you, fellows? Fellow people? I should have grabbed that while I did. Um, okay, so this is where you were. Where we were before we found our friend. Do that. Okay. Okay, so we've essentially done a big circle here, which is good. Okay, folks. Thank you so much for watching. And <laughs> this has been a great episode. We've done a lot today. But thank you so much for watching. And see you all in the next time of... The Mystery Files of Detective Inaba, where we go up to the ne Hold on. You're an angry one, aren't you? If you go upstairs to the second floor and examine the pool of blood underneath a chandelier, you'll find something nice. I guarantee you we won't. But thank you so much for watching, guys, and see you all the next time of this game. Have a good day and take care of yourselves.